All right, welcome back. So this time I'm designing an American flag in VCarve Pro. Um, also, let me know if you like the new intro. Uh, I just came up with it. It was an idea uh, Ben Sawmill gave me. And then there was another gentleman. I Sorry, I forget your name, but somebody else said something similar. And I decided to give it a shot, and I actually love it. So uh, it was a great idea. I'm glad we brought up this whole discussion. Uh, and thanks, everyone, for giving me your feedback. Okay, so uh, VCarve Pro, this is a 10 and a half inch, or 10 and a quarter inch, 20 inches long, or on the Y axis, 20 inches, 10 and a quarter on the X, and it's roughly about an inch thick. Uh, I'm bringing this, this uh, flag in from Google, just an image search, and I'm going to trace the bitmap. Uh, it's hard to trace a bitmap of these stars if you look at them. They're poor i mean they look like stars but they're not crisp straight lines points so what i'm doing is i'm going to after i stretch this image out to fit the entire piece of wood then i'm going to ass assign guidelines to give me locations uh vertically and horizontally so that when i'm putting my new stars in i can just Put them right on the lines that intersect and it will go immediately right to where they need to be it'll let they'll snap into place um so after i get that done i'll come on back and tell you what's after okay so the first step of this is i'm going to put guidelines um horizontally through the middle of each star and then I will skip ahead and tell you about the vertical part because it takes me probably five minutes or so to get all these guidelines in place so I'll spare you the time Okay, so now I'm putting in the vertical guidelines. And now once you put these guidelines in, the intersecting points of the guidelines will automatically give you like a snap. When you when you put your star there, it'll just you, they'll snap into place centered on that star. All you have to do is put your little crosshair right on that intersection and they will all be in the same place. So it's a very easy way to evenly or consistently space things. So I will spare you the burden of watching me do every one of these lines just because it probably took me seven, eight minutes of just doing these guidelines. So I, re I really, you know, just cut through a lot of it so you don't have to sit and watch. You get the point of what I'm doing and the reasoning for doing it. It'll work for anything. You don't just have to do it for stars. You can do it for anything. Text. Uh, I sometimes I'll do guidelines just to give myself like an even distance reference from the side of a an image or the side of a shape or whatnot. Uh, it really helps a lot of the times. Guidelines are a great tool. Okay, so now what I do is I I do individual stars on my intersecting points. Till I get one row of six and one row of five. Then I copy and paste both rows. And then I just move the new set of 11 stars. Until they click onto the intersecting points. And um, when I initially started to do this, I put in a few stars. And I was going to do it the other way. And then I started thinking that I was doing it wrong. So that's why I'm deleting those extra stars. And now I'll copy all 22 stars and paste them again. And then slide them over. And then I just have to go back and grab a row of six and paste them at the top. 
and the star portion of this is complete. So then I run a tool path. Um, the tool path I do with a quarter inch end mill and a 30 degree V bit. And it comes out to be, I think it was right around an hour and 15 minutes for the the pocket tool path and approximately an hour and a half for the for the V bit the V uh, the V car portion of the tool path. So we're talking almost three hours, two hours and forty five minutes, somewhere in that area. Really not too bad for as much carving as there is on this particular project. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to do new lines or not for the stripes, but this one came out good, so I'm going to leave them. Anyways, well, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know your feedback on the uh, new intro. And, again, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys being here. And I can't wait to get this sign made. And I will put this on eBay along with the clock. So if you're interested, message me. Uh, thanks again. Have a great day. Hit that subscribe button, please. Till the next video, I'm out.